but survival was not only about avoiding harm so the survival was also about finding the best food shelter and other resources it makes sense that certain habitat would trigger a natural bath of happy hormones and that our brain and that our brain would acquire the easy ability to learn this in the same way we learn to fear snakes and spiders so we were learning to fear snakes and spiders going beyond that our ancestors also had to learn how to recover from stress so stress was a big problem even then after they were chased by a lion or dropped a precious tuber over a cliff they had to get over it in order to be welcomed back to the tribe so peer pressure was still uh, there that means at that time also uh, they have to represent to their tribes also tribes means their locality or uh, their families etc without which there was little survival the biophilia hypothesis posits that peaceful and nurturing elements of nature helped us regain equanimity cognitive clarity empathy and hope so biophilia biophilia hypothesis so biophilia hypothesis posits that peaceful or nurturing elements of nature so there were elements in nature so peaceful and nurturing elements of nature helped us regain cognitive clarity empathy and hope when love laughter and music were not around so these things were not there so love laughter and music was not around there was always a sunset so sunset we are attached to sunset from that time uh, from ancient times so sunset was only our relaxing time the humans who were most attuned to the cues of nature were the ones who survived to pass those straits that means some human survives survived those straits that means dangers so they were only happy at that time so in our modern world as we know we have stress of earning money so this stress is similar